Hello everyone and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 1.6 with Kerbalism. In this episode we're going to start off by launching a Duna probe because that window is coming up. We will also have to pay attention to our EVE probe already en route. And uh, with this Duna probe I'm going to try a redo of this particular mission that we had launched before. But this time we are going to set the parachute to quality high, which is really expensive. If I turn it back to standard you can see 25,464. And high, it's 1,050 about more than it was before. So, yeah, that's uh, quite an expense. Uh, I should probably also... Now, uh, the quality doesn't matter in terms of the range on these. I think, uh, well, simulate transmitter and planner. Yes. Okay, well, does that tell me anything uh, in here? Well, uh, I will have to learn what the heck the planner is. We probably, I, I want some uh, more antenna range, so we're just going to add more antennae. It's got to be more expensive, but I'm going to take off the goo containers. We did them last time, um, so we really don't need that. We really, really do need communications. So, let's see. Of course, um, increasing the quality of the antennae would help if I wanted to make sure that we would still have communications in case of a failure. But it's expensive. I want to see if we can do it without that part. I mean, at least we do have multiple antennae. We've, we're carrying probably too much ablator, but that's fine. Delta V-wise, we were more than all right last time. Okay, so... Uh, oh, yeah, and uh, uh, somebody suggested all y'all. I have used all y'all before. I should put all y'all in, but I have not put all y'all in yet. And I think it'll be all right. We'll call this student probe 2. And let's action group the antennae and everything. I'll put it on action group two. So it's just temperature and radiation, but uh, we don't actually have to do any science. All we have to do is come back. So the science is superfluous in a way. Okay, I just got a message that we lost control of Eve Probe 1. Uh, as people were talking to me about uh, orientation, and here's the problem with me and the orientation of things. I'm used to persistent rotation now, and that's because I've been using it in Realism Overhaul a whole lot. No, we haven't lost power. We've got those side panels. Why did you lose power? I mean, these panels are very clearly exposed to sunlight. It's just Kerbalism is not very good at keeping track of electric charge, to be honest. Okay, and uh, people asked me about the messages. No, I, I don't know. Uh, th there are lots of settings for the messages, and somebody mentioned some way in the menu to turn them off. Um, these notifications, but I tried to turn this one off. I don't. I don't know if I want to be want to turn off the electric charge one, but it seems to seems to say. The last time when I tried to turn off the signal, it still gave me the signal messages. So that's why I'm wondering whether this will even work. Um, but um, yeah, since it seems to be giving me an electric charge warning, even when the electric charge is not a problem and ought not to be a problem, and it's not keeping track of it properly, this might be fixed in a more updated version of Kerbalism. I'll have to check if there's a new version. People are telling me about a dev version that not the full release, but Anyway, but uh, yeah, so it wasn't keeping track of the electric charge properly. Uh, let me turn off the notifications so it doesn't scare me. We just got pulled out of Time Warp again because of that message. Where, where is our... Do we have a message log here? Oh, if I actually go to it and we click on log. And once again, after we recharged and I made the change in the settings, it now says no more electric charge on Eve Probe 1 again. And it's probably going to keep doing that. Um, I guess I'll have to make the... So the this setting over here did not work. But we presumably can do the single probe setting. And that is config. Here, battery, no messages. And somebody mentioned that if we don't repair the panels and such on our stations, they might get permanently broken. That's probably all right. I plan to send up large solar arrays to each once we unlock the large solar panels. So if we have busted solar panels, we should also add KAS and KIS eventually. 
so that uh, Kerbals can just take off the soul panels that are busted. We don't have to keep them on. So there are a bunch of mods I'm contemplating adding, but I'm in no rush. I mean, you know. We still have to do some of the basics before we get into complicated things with KIS and KAS and such. Okay, here we are. Thrall is up. SAS on. MechJab hit my windows again. I don't need surface info. All right. And smart ASS. All right. Here we go. Launch. Okay, aiming to do a bit of a better job with this rocket, but we're encountering a lot of flame effects. I don't know if it's actual drag, but we're definitely getting flame effects. And we'll stop it right about there and we'll coast. Alright, that's the end of that stage. Separation. Okay, that's a nice tight orbit to start off and hopefully we'll have a nice efficient transfer to match it. There we go. All right, focus view. So this will arrive in 278 days. That's a long while. Well, right now it looks like we'd be going like out of communication and away from the sun this way, but I think that situation will change once we get there. And that that looks like it's actually earlier rather than later, so that's good. We actually have to we just have to go on a flyby. I mean could we like get a immediate transfer back, right? I mean we don't have to get into orbit around Duna. If we could time it right and get our orbit right. This is probably overly optimistic right now. And I don't even know if I can target Kerbin properly with the maneuver node there. Uh, let's see. Well, because we're in Kerbin SOI, it's tough to target Kerbin. Mm, we'll have to see. All right, we'll do this first. Okay, and off we go. Let's activate the antennae. Looking good. Okay, after a bit of fine tuning, we do have an encounter with Duna here. So all is well. And so uh, we still got some fuel in this stage, so we'll let it tag along. And then we have this stage with 2,175, and then another stage with 1,147. So again, we're not short on that. So uh, I'm gonna add that alarm. And we are gonna turn back to focusing on the EVE probe and let's see if we can get that mission done. Okay, we have just entered EVE SOI. We have signal strength of 77%, so that's good. And our probe is fully charged and that's fine too. So we're going to attempt to do this maneuver to get into orbit and then we have to do quite a bit of business in order to get into that contract orbit that you see there. At least we're going around the right way. So that's always important. So time warp. I suppose I should do some science here while we're still nice and high up. Well, we're gonna be high up for quite a while actually. Uh, well, that's recovery. Let's keep that. No, no, record. And people told me that uh, the science automatically goes into the core with uh, with Kerbal uh, with Kerbalism. So I'll keep that in mind when I design future missions. It looks like um, well, we might have communication at periapsis, but we'll soon lose it. It's fine. This burn should not take very long. We'll keep an eye on that line. Uh, all right, let's start capturing here. Better to start early on this sort of thing than lose communication and not be able to start at all. There's still some starlight between us and Eve's atmosphere there. 
Okay, that's a good orbit. I mean, you know, we have to get it better, but it's a good start anyway. So over here, let's see, was that about where orbits cross? I think it's an okay location. We're gonna lift our orbit there, and we're gonna have to bring it in as well. And what we want is our apoapsis to touch the target orbit. Okay. Well, that's a heck of a correction, but manageable. Oh, and while we're low over Eve, let's... Oh, well, I don't know if we are low over Eve. Let's get the Science Junior in this. Is there a mystery goo? Uh, near Eve, yeah. Good. Record. And Science Junior. Record. Well, at least in terms of transmitting science, I think Kerbalism saves me from worrying about the electric charge, at least. So that's nice. It was a little bit ludicrous to, you know, lose electric charge by transmitting stuff. And they could just trickle it out at whatever speed is, seems most appropriate. Well, don't let Eve's calmer, sort of lavenderish visage fool you. It is still a very dangerous place to actually visit. Though, you know, it takes a long time to actually get to the ground. That will do the trick. Okay, so then add apoapsis. We'll lift up. We'll need to do a little bit of radial. We'll finally get to dump the terrier stage. Okay, we're not gonna do ghillie science yet, even though we're in pretty high orbit and maybe I could finagle the uh, encounter. We'll wait for another opportunity for that, if the system turns out all right. All right. This is quite a high orbit to place something around Eve at. I don't know why they wanted it here, but if this is what they want, then they want to pay us for it. Is that good enough? Maintain stability for 10 seconds. All right. Okay. Well, we need to schedule a transfer back now. We've got some science that really needs to be brought back. So Eve to... Whoop, I missed it. Eve to Kerbin, one year and 95 days. Jeez. Okay, well, it's gonna be hanging out for a while. Now it will definitely be fine. And we can leave it alone until that time. All right. Um, it's a long time, but you know, I want to do interplanetary probes today. So do not probe two it is. We'll just time warp that 234 days. Of course, one of the side effects of time warping through this amount of time is that when we finally get Kerbals on our space stations, uh, they're gonna... Oh, engine malfunction on Duna Probe 2. Oh, that might be... I don't know which engine it is. We do have plenty of spare Delta V again, but uh, that's an interesting thing. We'll have to see. But uh, yeah, by the time we actually get Kerbals on our space stations, it's liable to be the case that it's got to be like a salute repair thing or a Skylab repair thing where the station is sort of busted and not quite functional. And they're going to have to do a whole lot of EVAs in order to fix it up. Oh, it just gave me an interesting message. It said that um, a reaction wheel had failed and it's gone for good. So reaction wheel malfunctioned on Kerbin Station 1. We can still repair it, but uh, the reaction wheel on Minmus Station 1 is gone for good. That's gonna make it challenging, all right. Still, sort of like one of the Salyut repair missions, so it's all right, you know, we'll have some fun. Okay, we are here with Duna Probe 2, two days away from our maneuver, which was a dummy maneuver, and we have a signal strength of 45%, which is fine. But okay, which of these engines is the busted engine? Mm, those seem 
to not uh, I, I think it's this one so yeah i mean malfunction so this spark engine is useless we can dump the fuel oh do we have fuel transfer yet um yes we do so we could just dump the fuel into the into the terrier stage and use that instead and that's what i'm gonna do okay uh, I wonder why it's still reading 2000. It hasn't updated the Delta V here. Hmm. That's troubling. Anyway, so obviously we do not have that much there. Okay, so now let's target Kerbin. And see if there's any way we can make a maneuver here that can get us back directly. Which might get us back a little bit fast, but we'll see. Nah, I'm not feeling this uh, attempt to go straight back anyway. And with the long time to the EVE transfer, I'm not in much of a rush. So, we're gonna just eliminate this. And we'll make orbits normally. And we will return at the appropriate transfer time, which is... One year and 125 days. After that amount of time, our station should be in a total mess. I guess there is still some fuel on this station I haven't dumped out yet. Okay, that should be low enough not to get interfered by Ike at. And I doubt there's any interesting science. We probably already did the thermometer and barometer. And we don't really need to do any additional science. So we'll just leave this be until that time. And I, I want to bring the EVE mission back. Okay, we're back with our EVE probe. And if we tried to transfer back from this orbit, we'd have to wait 15 days. And that's because it's a very high orbit. And it's a 30-day orbit. So basically, the transfer point, the correct transfer point, is on the opposite side of the orbit from us. Um, I, I should have probably gotten into a lower orbit earlier if I wanted to avoid this. So, I guess we'll just wait. We're piling up the malfunctions, of course, at the stations. Uh, we had an ECLSS malfunction on Kerbin Station 1, the solar panel, um, all sorts of stuff. So, next time will be repair day. We're going to send crews out to repair and properly occupy our stations bring plenty of food water and oxygen too and maybe solar panels maybe big solar arrays okay here we go yeah persistent rotation is sort of a nice mod on the one hand it causes more difficulty because you can't just time warp in order to stop rotations but on the beneficial side, it uh, means that things can rotate constantly facing the sun. So you don't have to tweak things or be or have some arbitrary rules to follow to keep them facing the sun. They'll just automatically retain their orientation with respect to the sun once you set them. Okay, so what sort of approach do we have? Well, we actually have the crash approach that it said we would. That's a rarity. Let's change that up, uh, around a bit. It's a fair return. We can adjust it once we get back. So let me make a maneuver. And we'll pay attention to it right there. And that's the next thing we need to do. So. Nothing seems obviously broken at this point. Communication is fine. And obviously it'll be even better as we get back in. So I'm just gonna time warp out here. Solar panel malfunctioned on this EVE probe, but we can still repair it, but we have redundant solar panels, so that's fine. Okay, well, let's get rid of that alarm. We probably do want to go a little bit deeper into the atmosphere so a few little bursts will do the trick 26 kilometers is sort of my standard 
And I see no reason why we shouldn't arm the parachute right now. So that is armed. And let's get closer to Kerbin. Okay, let's see how our communication situation is. Well, coming in polar is not great. If we are close to the desert launch site and airfield there, we really do end up slowing down there, that'd be fine. But probably what we want to do is make sure our orientation is good ahead of time. We seem to have some communication with some center right there. I don't know what that is. But we should begin the staging process and the pre-programming of Smart ASS and everything. So, I'm just gonna dump this. It'll get disposed of. And retrograde. Okay, we still have communication at 140 kilometers. I'm retracting the antennae. And actually I want negative surface velocity is much better for the science junior. We're going to close the doors on the science junior. All right, all set. Uh, uh, somebody mentioned that I can adjust the minimum pressure on here. I will. I think that's a good idea. Let's go for 0.25. Normally for a real solar system I go 0.3, but we'll see where 0.25 ends up here. We are communicating with somewhere over here. I don't know what that is. Doesn't say. Oh, and we've switched. Well, we've got a lot of ground stations. That's good. Okay, here we go. Plasma blackout. Okay, things are calming down. A blader. We could have carried less, but it wasn't like we were short of propellant. And we actually have communication right now. And I don't know how long that'll last with the horizon issue, but we certainly have it right now and that is still armed. Okay, it has deployed. That's about right. That's basically where I want it to deploy. Okay, our scraps were exploding, but the probe remains. I certainly made this overly complicated. I didn't even need fuel or, or the one kilonewton thrusters to ant engines on this. Splash down and recover. Recover. 173.6 science. Very good. No crew uh, parts. We did get uh, 6,000 funds back. Very good. All right. Uh, let's take a look at R&D, actually. Why don't we get landing? I think that's good. Uh, aerodynamics leads to nothing too pressing. I do like air brakes, but uh, specialized control. Hmm. Ladders might be a good thing. What would be most important for us to fix up our station? Well, I like the gigantors. We want a proper solar array, maybe even a thermal control system. That's what we really need to add to our station. Stations, both of them. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's very clearly the thing we need to do. So let's get high power electrics so that we can properly work on our station in the next episode. Stations. Okay, let's finally bring back our Duna probe. Right now, we've only got 17% signal strength, but uh, Kerbin is right here and it's going to catch up to us. So in 103 days, it'll just get better, I think. Okay, here we go. We have a plot for Kerbin, 814.6 meters per second. I went with ASAP, and so we're going to have a node on this orbit. And yeah. Good times, we've got our alarms cleared. We'll follow this probe back. And looking good, Luna's looking good. Probably should have gotten into a tighter orbit and it might have been even cheaper to 
exit. Uh, right now we're in awkward place on our orbit. We're close to apoapsis when we get out, so we're not getting that O-Earth effect. But it's fine. We've got the Delta V. Maybe this time finally I'll get to use those ant engines. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's see what it got us. Well, certainly a transfer back. And we might need to do a correction. So yes, maybe I can use the ant engines. I'll deliberately do it inside curb and sewer influence instead of as a mid-course adjustment because I want to use the ant engine finally. Hopefully they'll still be working. Otherwise we might be in trouble. I'll keep the terrier just in case. Well, a bit of a risk, but everything else is fine and it's on its way back. So let's add that alarm. Okay, Duna Probe 2 has entered the Kerbin system and I think it will be beneficial for us to do this burn right now. Uh, the ant engines have not failed, so that's good. Not that we need them. I forgot, I haven't transferred this fuel down, have I? Well, let's do that. Yeah, we got plenty of Delta V like that. There's another tank here too. We may not get to use the ant engines this time either. Alas. All right, here we go. The ignition. I just want a periapsis that's low enough. Okay, that's close enough to my usual 26 kilometers. So we will do that. ECLSS has failed on Kerbin Station 1. It's gone for good. We have a total of uh, three more. We've got four in each station. But that's, that's leading me towards having KIS and KAS so that we can attach a new one there. We could carry a new one and attach one. The downside is that that's, uh, those are part mods. So we will be introducing for the first time new parts into the game. Maybe I want to delay that. Well, it looks like we'll be coming in on the nighttime side. Uh, let's begin separation procedures. Okay, mm separation. And we really don't need this anymore either. So, is that right? All right, set. Okay, and make the same adjustment on this parachute. That worked pretty well. That is armed. And preemptively having smart ASS orient. Apparently this solar panel has malfunctioned as well. But it doesn't matter. Okay, retracting antennae so that we have a chance of uh, getting them back. They're expensive, you know. So I wonder, I mean, uh, in this new version of KSP, how big a station could I build without it being totally laggy? How many parts could I have on a station exactly? It's been a long time since I tried to build a part count intensive station in sort of a, the stock system. In realism overall, because of all the extra mods, you can't get very far on that. Though it's probably better too these days. Though if we really want grand complexes, I'll have to eventually add in the USI mods. There are other station mods, but at least USI gives you a purpose to those new modules. It's not just for show, they have functionality. Okay, sunrise just as we're coming down. Appears to be a settlement down there. Or maybe just the sun glinting off of a cliff edge. Yeah, probably just the sun glinting off a of cliff edge. Oh, no, maybe. I don't know. Tough to say. Uh, well, it's pretty rough terrain around here. I think we're gonna be short of these mountains, at least. And the sun's setting again. <laughs> because we're coming down. The horizon. We still have communication over here. We're pretty low. There's apparently some sort of site right by. 
But we'll still lose it because of the mountains, I think. Or maybe not. Full parachute deployment is successful. Six meters per second. The debris is getting destroyed by little breaking. Oh, 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 it's rolling, it's rolling. Oh, stuff got damaged. No, no, stop rolling. Oh, it's a cliff. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, SAS something. We still have communication. Oh, it's rolling down the mountain. It's rolling down. Uh, I think SAS is trying to stop it. Okay, we, we rolled down to the base of the mountain. What did we lose? Mm, it didn't really say, but I definitely saw some stuff get... Uh, all of our antennae, antennae got broken. Except for this one. This one's fine. All right, recover. We still have communication there, too. It must be right by something. Okay, uh, well, we didn't do much science, and we certainly didn't have any crew. We're pretty far away from the KSC, 4,000 funds, uh, but did we fulfill the contract? Well, those are world's first. Okay, position satellite in a specific orbit of EVE we did. Explore Duna. Yes, we completed that contract. So, we are currently free from contracts. We've got a planet flag on the moon. Explore Ike, finally. So, there are options, but really, we need to fix up our stations, don't we? Oh, this is, this is pretty good. New surface outposts on Duna. Pretty lucrative, but motorized wheels. Jeez. Okay. Yeah, we need to fix up our stations. They're in pretty bad disrepair. Um, we don't really have enough science to unlock like heavier rocketry or stuff like this. We're getting there, but we'll need more science for that. But the uh, next episode is not going to be a science gathering episode. It's going to be an engineering episode with engineers repairing things. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.